hi everyone welcome to my channel where we can go on a journey together to live our highest truest and most fulfilled version of ourselves please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will know every time i post a video thank you so much for your support today's video is a continuation of my appreciation for the oceans the beach the sea where last tuesday my video was all about the sea also being world oceans day last june 8 and as we continue to celebrate the whole week is the world oceans week i am posting this video it's all about my love for the, the ocean any body of water i love it there's something about a body of water that makes me calm and there's healing and just overall feeling good and inspiring on this video i'm showcasing our beautiful calf pasture beach here in norwalk connecticut enjoy Cobb Pasture Beach is a historically significant park and beach in Norwalk, Connecticut, about 0.45 square miles big. This large O-shaped sculpture is about 35 ton tall steel and concrete sculpture made by Peter Ludberg. And he named this sculpture Odin. It's after the Nordic blood because he is from Sweden. This has been displayed in Rhode Island, now in New York and now has permanent residence here in Kalpashra Beach. It's beautiful. This is the fishing pier and a lot of fishermen here all the time, especially during the summer. And the most popular species caught here are striped bass, bluefish, and tub gornard. The pier looks great with the new paint and stain it looks new i love it here i love walking and you can see in the background the norwalk islands there are four norwalk islands they are the the chimon kokino she and shifold it's basically she and shifold that are kind of bigger and people are allowed to explore on those islands the islands are used for several different types of recreational activities including camping boating kayaking swimming bird watching ownership of the islands varies with about a half dozen held in private hands some owned by the governments of norwalk or westport and some are part of the stuart mckinney national wildlife refuge and I will have the chance, I will visit again those islands, two islands, main islands, and I will hopefully share those videos and those trips to you guys, day trips. This beach was used by Connecticut colony settlers in the 17th century as grazing land for cows. Also was used for disembarkation and encampment during the Thailand raid of the American Revolutionary War in 1779. In 1917, the Norwalk City legislator authorized the city to acquire and create a park at Cap Pasture Beach. Besides this nice sculpture, the beach also has a large guarded beach, a fishing pier, a tree shaded playground a boat tram, a volleyball courts, a skateboard park, baseball diamonds, accessible restrooms, and a restaurant maintained by the Ripka Beach Cafe. This beach was opened to the public in 1924. During the spring and fall seasons, the parking lot at Cough Pasture Beach is used for cart racing. I've been to this racing for a few times. It's fun. This area here is the Shady Beach Park. It's a beautiful beach. Not white sand, but 
like a nice, you know, tan colored sand. I love it. There are shaded picnic tables. I'm so happy they're back. It was removed before because of social distancing during the peak of pandemic. And now it's back. They also have grills and additional restroom facilities. This is where I usually stay in this area here. And my mom and I come in here often to just have our lunch and play Scrabble. Uh, when my husband um, was still with us, this is his favorite place as well. A lot of great memories on this beach. This part of the beach was acquired only in the 1960s. Adjacent to the Shady Beach Park is the Taylor Farm Park with a tidal pool and grassy and wooded areas for dog walking. Taylor Farm Park is the site of the annual Greenwich Kennel Club Dog Show. I haven't been to that. I should check it out the next time. From the shady beach park, you can pass by right here to Taylor Farm Park that's adjacent there across. It's the and uh, I took a video last winter, and here it is. How beautiful. There was no dog at that time. It was so early, and it was very cold. And I love it. Look at this beauty. There is a fountain next to this and I didn't take a video but I have a picture and here it is it's beautiful next time I should take a video also adjacent to the beach is the Norwalk Boat Club a lot of boat shows there and I've been to a couple and really nice shows great amazing boats This is how the beach looked like during the winter. A different feel with the snow and the cool breeze. Just beautiful. Oh, I just love the water. My ultimate dream is to have a small, small place near the water. I'm visualizing it that it will happen. God willing, we all can dream. It's okay to dream. In the meantime, it's a world oceans appreciation week. Let's take care of our oceans, our seas, our lakes, our bodies of water. They are God's gifts to us. Let's appreciate these beauties and let's take care of them. So go out there and explore the oceans, the seas, the beaches, do sea gazing and enjoy every minute of it. And I'll see you in one of the beaches somewhere, who knows? It's a small world after all. Thanks again for watching. Be kind, be loving, and be inspired. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.